All right, you guys, today we check out how to intertwine donuts here in Illustrator. First, we're going to make the text pattern. Let's select the type tool, type in something, and I'm going to search for the inter font, and I'm going to select the inter black, and I'm going to copy paste this text twice. Press and hold alt to drag it down. Also, press and hold shift to isolate, and I'm going to select the PANT, control X, and I'm going to go at the end, double click, space, control V. And I'm going to select both of the text, right click, create outlines. And I'm going to select the second one, press and hold shift, scale it down to make it fit. There you go. Let's select both, press and hold alt, drag it down, make it intersect, press control D to duplicate. Now I'm going to select all of it, right click, group. I'm going to go and recolor it to gray. And I'm going to go and select the rectangle and I'm going to make it black. Let's create a rectangle on the top. Right click on the rectangle. Let's go to arrange and send to back. Let's select everything. Let's go to arrange vertically and horizontally. And I can select the rectangle and press and hold alt and bring it all the way in somewhere here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the top and I'm going to select all right click and select group. Now let's go to the symbols and drag and drop the pattern text into the symbols. Click OK. And now you can delete the pattern text. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt to create a circle. And we're going to go to the effect. 3D materials, let's go to 3D classic and select a revolve classic. And here we're going to need to increase the offset quite a bit. So this way is going to increase the hole into the donut. I'm going to try it out with 70 and here you can rotate the donut and just make sure that the hole of the donut is going to be visible. Now let's go to map art, let's go to symbol and select the new symbol that we created. Click on scale to fit, click OK and click OK. And now we're going to duplicate the donut, press and hold alt, drag it to the right. And now we're going to go to the properties. Let's go back to 3D and revolve. And this is going to bring you back to the settings and let's rotate the donut. Probably going to try it out like this. Click OK. And I'm going to bring the donut into the hole. So as you can see, this tube of the donut, it is going to be inside of this hole. Now let's select both donuts, go to object, expand appearance. And now let's go and select one of the donuts, right click on group all right click again a release clipping mask and let's go and right click one more time and select group i'm going to repeat the same step with the left donut right click on group all right click release clipping mask and about least right click group now we're also going to need to add some shading before applying the intertwine so i'm going to select this donut press ctrl c and then ctrl f or you can go to edit paste in front and let's go to pathfinder click on unite and let's go to gradient Activate the gradient. I'm going to select a radial gradient and let's go and swap this a reverse gradient. So the black is going to be inside and the white outside. Press the letter G and I'm going to position the gradient somewhere around here. So when I'm going to intertwine this, the left donut upper part is going to be on the top. And from here, I'm going to go to opacity and change it to multiply. Now let's go and select the donut with the shading, right click and select group. Now I'm going to repeat the same step with the second donut, Control C, Control F, Unite at the Pathfinder. And now I'm going to select the eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on the gradient. So this way is going to copy paste the characteristics. Press the letter G and now I can move this wherever I want. So actually this has to go right here and now I'm going to go and select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select the shading of the right donut, click on it, press the letter G and I'm going to reposition it here. All right, so I'm also going to group these donuts, right click, group. And now I'm going to select both donuts. Let's go to object, select intertwine and I'm going to select the make. Wait for a couple of seconds and now I can go here and check this out. It is going to highlight this area, click on it and this way it's going to intertwine. And this is how I intertwine text donuts here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.